Check it out, folks. It's finally going down, right? You guys have been asking me to do this video for a long time, so check this out. I brought a specialist, right? He's real well known on, you know, TikTok, Instagram, and all that. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell them what we're making. I'm Chef Ty. Today we're gonna make some Cajun seafood cornbread dressing. There's a difference between dressing and stuffing. I know the difference. Let's check it out, because when you stuff, you put it in the back of the bird, right? Yep. And if exactly. it's dressing, it's a standalone, right? Standalone. So with that being said, let's get it. Okay, so you guys seen, look, we just went over all of the ingredients, you know what I mean? And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. With that being said, check this out, Chef Ty. Hey, listen, this is your thing. Y'all gonna let you take point. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my thing, you know, on the side, right? All right. So you tell me what I gotta do and tell me how we're doing. All right, now we're gonna start with sauteing your peppers here. Right. First, we're gonna put some olive oil on here. Okay, so look, when it comes to olive oil, I only use this brand, you know what I mean? Look at this right here. This is Branch and Vaughn. If I turn this around to the back, this is my garlic. This is like my go-to. This and scallion, folks. This is what you guys see that I have my little olive oil, you know, my little olive oil bottle on. Yeah, I just transfer it to that. But go ahead. Don't be afraid to use some. That's all you, you need, need drink here. All right, I'm gonna mix that around a little bit. I'm gonna take our olive oil. Our pan is already hot. Put throw these in here. You hear that sizzle? So after we get this down, sweat it down a little bit, we're gonna add some of this garlic paste in it. Okay, so meanwhile, while you sweating that down, I'm gonna set this off to the side. But first, let me just go ahead and get this up. Because what I wanna do is I just wanna crumble everything, right? So I'll just run this, make sure nothing's kind of like stuck on the bottom. Okay, so look, if you guys come in here, when I say crumble, it's just like the word says, I'm just gonna get in here and just mix this up, all right? And now I'm gonna follow behind that with this here. If you don't want to use the box ones, you can always make some homemade breadcrumbs. Oh, that's my thing, too. It won't be the Chef Thai way if he didn't put nothing to season in it. I put down everything, you hear? Everything. <laughs> and we've got to go ahead and dump this inside this bowl here. Okay. All right, now we're going to prepare our shrimp. We're going to take it here. We call it shrimp or scrimps. Okay. We're going to take some of the seasoning right here. Don't be afraid, I'm gonna eat the big side here. We put this on everything. So look, this is what you're gonna do. You're finna season. Finna season the scrimps. <laughs> there you go. All right, do your thing. Hey, look, meanwhile, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing the rest of this up in here too, right? But I'm gonna leave the oysters, and I'm gonna leave the, because you're getting ready to take the, the, crawfish. the crawfish. So I'll put that over there by you. I'll keep the crab and the crab. crab. And the clams, right? All of this is going in the inside. Yes. Gotcha. I'm gonna take our shrimp. We're gonna let it sit here for a second. Then we'll add some of this secret Chef Thai butter, hmm. homemade butter here. Take a few scoops of this. Now let me ask you this: Since we're using this lump crab meat, how, how serious are you about the size of your meat? So with the crab meat, we're just gonna fold it in there. We don't want to break the crab meat up. We want to fold it into the good thing. Just like you making crab cakes. Gotcha. Hey, I just said something about the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and just say pause. All right. Now that right Throw it in there. Fire. Everything get flavor to it. Everything. Everybody you want to eat, you want to make sure you got the flavor touching your palate. So now I'm getting ready to come with my clam, juice and all, correct? Now once you got that in there, we're gonna let these shrimps cook for a few seconds. Now I took it all the way through, because we we're gonna add it to here, we're gonna throw it in the oven. So we don't want to dry up our shrimp, Hey, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of oven, I think now would be a good time for us to go ahead and preview. We're gonna put it on bake. Let's put it on 350. Now, since we got the shrimp cooking, then we'll take our crawfish meat, and we got some juice, extra juice in there. We're gonna add that in there. And we're gonna cook a few seconds, just so we can cover it with the flavor. And we're gonna go I'm gonna put this off to the side while you're doing that. I'm gonna rinse. Add to my hot soapy water. I'm about to bring my cutting board and I'm gonna start chopping down these oysters. Right. And now we're gonna go ahead and transfer this right here. Pour it right on there. Got that in there, I see that. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I just, not an oyster guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm old school. You know what I mean? Uh, just. All my friends, they get them, they shoot them, do the shooters and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna go all in with you. If you say that, let's do it. All right, AB, we're gonna have you pour in the cream of chicken. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm gonna crack the egg behind you. You know, uh, I got it, man. You know, cream of chicken. You know, I've just seen a couple of recipes out here that have it. 
You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't kind of like just, I do mine just a little bit different. You know what I mean? But I know this right here helps with the moisture too, right? Yeah, exactly. And then I was looking at like all of the uh, seafood in there so we don't have to do a whole lot of salt. Exactly. Right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the the, the clam, clam juice. I'm gonna add a clam juice in there, just a little bit, not all of it. Just a little bit, just let me win. All right. Ready? Yep. Then I'm gonna take some of that chicken stock. Chicken stock? Yep. This right here, we're gonna get some of that flavor. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get a little salt from this too. Yeah, we're gonna get a little salt from that. Like I said, we're not gonna use a lot of salt in here because the salt will come from the sea, the seafood, the cream of chicken, and the chicken stock. Now look, I want you to notice, look, I had to open this up without shaking this up. Just so you guys know out there, listen, if you don't shake this, listen, it kind of like separates. You know what I mean? So you'll get a little bit of the, I guess, more flavor down here on the bottom. So it's always best to shake well. And then apply. Are oh, we putting the, no, we're not putting the whole thing. No, the whole thing in there. There's probably half of it. I got you. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add all right, gumbo filet. Now this right here is a new one on me. We finna use filet, right? Filet in there. So gumbo it. filet. Right this here. stuff right here go a long ways, bro. Yep. So I want you to really take, keep your eye yep. on this one right here. That's good right there. Okay. And then we'll take our sage. No right. Yeah, well, you say you dressing? Know. Come on, you know we gotta have You gotta have the sage. Gotta have the sage. Ain't dressing if you don't have the sage in it. Now I'm gonna ask you guys out here down, I want you to do something. Down in the comment section below, tell me how many of y'all don't like the sage. You know there's a lot of people that don't like sage dressing? Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't I don't know, know either. I, I don't know, but we'll wait and find out. And then now I'm gonna add some, some basil, bay leaf in here. You're gonna take a few leaves. Now look, this is dry bay, uh, dry, bay leaf, right? Dry bay leaves. Look at what you're gonna do with this. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a crunch it up. That's a new one on me, but I got it. It's, it's the exact same. I just never have seen nobody. And then now I'm gonna top it off with some of that Chef Thai seasoning. I put that on everything. Like you said, like I said earlier, exactly. you put it on everything. It's like E R R R R. It's, it's E R R R R R. Okay. Okay. Everything. Okay. I'm gonna put that on top of there. Right. Sprinkle it on there. There's a little love in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with our hands. We're gonna caress it, get it nice and combine it really well. Now let me ask you this, there's no different than, okay, so I know that you don't, you didn't scramble your egg or nothing like that? No. Nope. You just going, I don't either, but I just want, I'm yeah. saying that for the people out here, you know what I mean? Cause some people ask me, I'm like, nah, it doesn't make a difference when you nope. scramble it, put it in here like that, but that right there is fire. Now listen, I use a non-stick spray, you guys, you guys can use that, you can use butter, just use some uh, refrigerated butter, just run it along the sides, put it on a napkin, however you want to do it. But this today is my tool of choice. All right, now you want to look just like this right here, Nice and not too dry, you want it nice and moist, you see that? You can even see the moisture in there. Cause when it cooks, some of it's gonna evaporate. So you want to evaporate. So you want to keep as much moisture in this corn, um, cornbread dresser. Now that our oven is set and our dressing is together, we're gonna move it over here so they bring that this way. So now we're gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes in the oven. And when it's done, we're gonna bring it back so you guys can see it. Okay, folks, look. So we out of the oven, let it like cool down just for about what? About 10, 10 minutes. minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, you know that, cause look, you can put your hand here, still feel some warmth. And then when you take it out, don't forget it's gonna like cook a little bit also. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I see that shrimp right here. And listen, I feel like I'm over talking. It's time for us to go ahead and do a little play. Go ahead and dig into it. Down to see you. <laughs> hey, you ain't got to tell me twice. So if you guys come on in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, oh my goodness. Hey, we ain't got no yams, bro. We ain't no yams. Yeah, no. Look at that. I'll just start right there on the side. You can see where the crust is on the top. Mm. There you go. Okay, folks. All right. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh, oh that's fire, bro. Chef Ty, I see you, fam. I like what you did with this. Listen, it ain't even over the top with like a fishy type flavor. That's what I like about this one right here. This right here, just the perfect blend and everything. And the fact that you cook down the veggies and it still got some integrity. Now, with that being said, don't forget to talk to us down in the comment section below. And you know what, you know me, I'm not finna over talk it. Chef Todd, check us out. It's your boy Chef Todd. You can check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Chef underscore 951. AB, what? we out. Peace.